This week on HBCN Weekly, we discuss Business Professionals of America, Spring Break, and Prom Proposals. In this video segment, we spoke to our students about Business Professionals of America, a career and technical organization that's now headed to state. EPA is Business Professionals of America. It is a student organization that allows our um, students who are in career and technology courses to test themselves with workplace assessment program so they can compete in different events. It's also a professional organization that gives them a feel for what it means to be in an organization when they're in college and when they're in the professional world. BPA is important to me because it's definitely enhanced my leadership skills and my interview skills, presentation skills, and pretty much everything that pertains to business and what I want to go into. My experience, uh, last year I went to state, which was pretty fun. It was in Corpus Christi. And then this year we're going to Dallas, uh, Wednesday to Sunday. And it's a great experience because we get our hotel paid for, we get 80 bucks to spend on whatever we want, we get a share room, which is okay. And yeah, as long as you have friends, it's amazing. Um, I always tell my students uh, BPA is a great organization as far as like an academic organization to join um, because of the experience that they get from competing and just the experience of meeting other people and um, there's so many things you can get out of the events um, as far as Leadership Academy. Um, there's also interning opportunities which earns you community service hours as well. So VPA is one of those academic organizations that uh, is highly recommended for our students. Uh, March 1st we're going to leave to go to state and there's going to be thousands of people from all over Texas coming uh, in Dallas and it's going to be really competitive, I think. Uh, a lot of really great competitors out there in technology and uh, different a variety of events. But it's going to be a lot of really exciting, a lot of fun, a great atmosphere, and I'm really excited to get going. It's hard to find a program that actually allows students to put their knowledge into action and to be rewarded for it with scholarships and prizes. And BPA is definitely that. Spring break. A break for people to gain a new mindset on the school year. We asked students on their plans and their favorite spring break memories. My spring break plans? Um, well, we are going to be playing softball Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. And then for the rest, we are going to be going to South Padre with my family. That be it. I really don't have much of a spring break because I've been playing softball my whole entire life. So, softball is just what I do on spring break and I love it. And but going to the beach is like one of the most fun things I've done with my family. Uh, we have a lot of tournaments and baseball games this spring break, so I really won't be doing much. And I have a lot of work. Port Aransas and South Padre to go fishing. And jumping off cliffs, that's pretty fun. <laughs> and I like being with my girlfriend a lot. What? Go to Austin and just like, I don't know, watch watch art. I'm going to the coast. I'm going to spend the night at a cabin, I think, and just stay there. To be this one time when my whole family came down here and we went to, we went downtown to Mardi Gras and we spent the day at the carnival. Prom is coming up fast. People are renting their tuxes and getting fitted for their dresses. But most importantly, they're getting asked. In this video, we focus on how people feel about these prom proposals. What are your views on prom posing? I think prom posing is ridiculous. People put more effort into proposing for prom than they do into proposing who they're actually going to marry. Uh, I think it's like a little bit too much. It's not a good idea. We have to consider the safety of the students and when you have a large group of students gathering in one place and they're really excited about something, um, it's just not a good idea. Further, I think all the attention is for the person that's doing the asking instead of the one who's being asked. Honestly, I think that's freaking cute. Like, if someone were to do that to me, I would probably cry. Look at me. Look at me.